a lot of requests to do a tutorial on the look I was wearing in my meetup video. Not where I met up, but where I told you about my meetup videos in June. I also wore it a few days during my June vlogs. Um, the star of the show is Bare Minerals Nude Beach. It's a loose eyeshadow pigment. So I'm going to walk you through all that right okay yeah. before we get started with the eye part of this tutorial i just want to tell you what's already on my face of course i've moisturized with my colleen rothschild sheer renewal cream my foundation today is the guerlain lingerie depot i've never said this in a video but this is my all-time favorite foundation period dot um for concealers under eye are is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye in light and for my face like just skin tone unevenness and so forth. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation in 02. And what else do I have going on? For bronzer today, we have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Luminous Light. I did set everything, I haven't used this in a while, but the Hourglass um, Ambient Light Powder in Diffused Light. I will list all this in the description box as always. Um, for highlighter, there is nothing better. I don't care what anybody says, to the Kevin Aquan Celestial Powder and Candlelight. And I did my eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Taupe. I've heard that NYX makes a fabulous version of this, so when I run out, I will be checking that out. And then set it with the NYX Brow Mascara in Blonde. And I primed my lids with the Wet n Wild Primer from the Fergie line. And that is all we have going on. So let's get to the fun start stuff let me zoom in as soon as i got this from it cosmetics i knew i was going to use this to sculpt more than my face i have primarily been using the it what is this my sculpted face to sculpt my eyes so um for this look i used i believe i start with the lightest of the two middle shades and if i feel like i need a little deeper i'll deepen it up with the next darkest one so i'm just going to use a fluffy crease brush if i can find one i'm just going to grab this one from smashbox and um just throw that in the lid. What, if you have trouble finding your crease or you're confused with it, I, I actually prefer the socket line and the socket is where the orbital bone kind of, you can like, some people's orbital bone is much higher than their crease. My crease is quite low. Where the actual line is is down here, but my orbital bone is up here. Just stick your finger in a little bit and you'll feel where the, where there's a, an opening for your eyeball. <laughs> That's your socket line. And you can tilt your head back a little bit and you'll be able to see it better in the mirror as well. And I'm just, with the tip of the brush, any brush, like a MAC 217 or the Sigma version, whatever that number is, or the Sedona Lace version. I can never remember the numbering, but basically anything that's kind of shaped like a MAC 217, because it's not as round, it's more of a point, so it can really get into that area. I find that it bounces the eye to whatever you put in the crease, put under the lid as well. So I'm just taking a smaller pointed brush. This is a... It's an old Sigma, but it's like a MAC 219. And just run it, I don't run it all the way under my eye, I just run it about midway. Kind of join it up with where I put it in the crease. Before I get to the star of the show, I'm just gonna put my highlighter on. I find that it's better to put all your matte shades on first before you get to the sparkly bit. And for this, I am using um, the, the lighter shades, the matte version up there. You can use any, I like, I like anything that's basically matte and bone colored. So Wet n Wild Brulee, MAC Brulee or MAC, MAC Blanc type, depending on your skin tone. Now on to the star of the show. I will insert a close up of Nude Beach. It's so sparkly that my camera can't focus on it, but um, it's messy, it's a powder. And um, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either put down like a sticky kind of creamy primer, a MAC paint pot, um, something like a, any cream eyeshadow, the Maybelline um, tattoos, those work too. I like using a concealer brush, which is a stiff synthetic brush, and um, I use the MAC Fix Plus. I just buy the little um, travel size, but you know, if you have the bigger one, that's fine. And I just get my brush good and wet, and then I tap it into the powder and try to tap off the excess, and then start patting it. And the key is pat, don't rub, because it will get everywhere. And pat it onto the lid. It's still gonna get everywhere. 
and I bring it right up to that socket line. I stick the point of that brush right in there. If you want to layer a little more on, you really don't need to re-wet the brush if you've done a good job. Just leave it alone, let it set, and I also get in a little bit in the inner corner, like so. And then do the same on the other side. Now what I like to do to kind of soften the look is go back with a slightly fluffier brush. I love the Sephora Professional Crease Shadow Brush, number 73, I'll list it. Go back in with that same crease color, tap it off, and then very gently, and if you're worried about pressure, just hold the brush closer to the end. You get more pressure the closer down on the barrel you get. Kind of go to the end and lightly go back over the socket line area. Darken it up a little bit. Then I take a clean, my giant blending brush from Coastal Sense, best blending brush ever, and just kind of go over everything. Now I have noticed that it's a little too glowy in the corners for me, so you can either find your foundation brush or a smaller um, clean brush and just kind of, or a Q-tip, use a Q-tip, and just kind of tone it down a little bit. There we go. Now I'm just gonna do a uh, liquid liner. My version of liquid liner what is, is um, my favorite is the Stila Stay All Day liquid eyeliner. I'm using black and I'm not winging it out or anything. I'm literally just laying it almost sideways and running it along the lash line. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and throw on mascara and I'll be right back. I forgot to mention I also already put on the same lipstick I was wearing when I was wearing this a lot in June, and that is Max Cream Cup. It's an only but a goodie. I will also add that this is gonna look quite different from when I wore it back in June because I've given up on my self tanning. I need to get back into that before I go on vacation this month, but for now, I am rocking my pale self. So I am going to just dry my hair and um, I'll show you the whole finished look. So here is the finished look. It's a really quick, easy look. You don't have to use Nude Beach. Any kind of lighter, shimmery eyeshadow, it doesn't have to be even a pigment, but um, the key to this look, and the key with pretty much all of my looks, is sort of a mid-tone matte brown in the crease, and then any color that you want that's shimmery and light on the lid, that's my go-to look. Basically, all my tutorials pretty much look like that. That's what I wear most of the time, and that is what I am most comfortable with. It's also a great technique if you want to bring a pop of color into your look. You can swap out this nude beach for a bright purple or a blue or a green or whatever rocks your world. So let me know if you've tried this, um, if you like it, if you think these are awful. <laughs> I'd like to do some more tutorials, and I feel like every time I try them, I get a little bit better at it. So let me know what you think and uh, keep on watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye-bye. Everyone, welcome to our first installment of Marnie and Michael Mondays. Um, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I'm sure there'll be like a cute name for it at some point.